another match day vlog the reds turn their attention to fa cup action for the first time this season we play arsenal at the emirates yes the draw hasn't been too kind to liverpool uh, but i'm hoping that we can go there put in a decent performance and just see what happens i'm not expecting loads from it um, i'm very much in the camp of uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what jürgen klopp does i think arsenal are in uh, not the greatest bit of form you know they need to make sure the atmosphere around the club gets a little bit of a boost so I expect them to go quite strong. Uh, as for us, we've obviously got a semi-final midweek, which for me uh, is priority because you're just a step closer. You're one game, and by one game I mean two because there's legs uh, in that, that semi-final. You're two games, but one tie away from a final at Wembley. Um, and that seems a bit more important. But... Uh, even with a rotated side, I think we should have a little bit of quality there to be able to play Arsenal and, and really give them a challenge. Uh, so let's hope we can do that. Before we get to the Emirates Stadium, though, please do like this video and also subscribe to the channel. Nice one for the support on the video. Enough for me. Let's get down to the Emirates Stadium. <laughs> It is nil-nil. It's a game that's lacked a lot of quality from both teams, to be honest. Liverpool not seeing loads of the ball. Uh, we're not getting the attackers um, in the game, really. We have had two big chances. Uh, I think it's a, a header on one of them. Um, and I think it's narrowly missed from where I am on the other end of the stadium. It looked like a good opportunity uh, and it looked like it only just missed. The other one is Trent's absolutely thundering one. Uh, off the crossbar, would have loved that to go in. Uh, as for Arsenal, it just feels like it's a little bit too easy for them. It feels like it's one ball bypassing the entire midfield uh, and the non-squad defenders. I think Joe Gomez has been superb so far. Uh, but David, the ball with Odegaard, 
and they've had times where the rebounds fell in the penalty area and they've just not took advantage of it. We've managed to block a lot of the things and that's good defending but it's also living life dangerously. Uh, so Liverpool need to improve in the second half. We need to get our forwards in the game more, make sure they're keeping the ball and dragging us up the pitch uh, and hopefully we can influence the game uh, and be a bit more creative and uh, a bit more ruthless up top uh, and come out with the victory. <laughs> One lad, here on the car. Edge box, Diaz. Oh! Oh!
I'm back at the uh, car park. <laughs> it's about a 50 minute trek from the stadium. I'm shattered. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because the Reds won. Um, unbelievable, honestly. I cannot explain what happened. Liverpool dug deep at times, especially in that first half. And my word, in the second half, um, we were boss. We were much, much improved. Um, and our attackers got in the game. There was loads of times we were in really good spaces. Um, but the final ball, or someone didn't shoot. Diaz must have been one on one three times, didn't shoot a single time up until the one where he absolutely buries it. Uh, I thought everyone tonight was absolutely brilliant. I need to go on that coach, I'm going to hurry up. Uh, what a time to be a red, absolutely buzzing. It made up 50 minute walk was worth it. The like five, six hour coach drive, not getting till back to the early hours in the morning. Yeah, boy. <laughs> it's fully worth it. Uh, <laughs> Sure, whatever that was. See you on the next one. Up the Reds.